<laughs> so it's uh it's day three since since losing my partner um I don't know when this is all going to stop, you know? Uh, waking up was pretty hard this morning. Um, I really wanted to just stay in bed. I didn't get a lot of sleep. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep the night before either. But, um, <coughs> um, just waking up over and over again, thinking, just thinking, I'm tired of thinking, you know, um, last night before bed, I, I, I didn't, I didn't head downstairs to, to go to bed until probably 1230 after midnight, and, um, I made a little bit of last minute progress up here, um, got rid of all the trash that I'd, I uh, accumulated over the last couple days, um, I was really turning into a slob, um, you know, all the food stuff and the, the, the plates and the, all the cigarette butts and cigarette packs, and I uh, actually threw them in the garbage. Um, you know, normal stuff that I would normally do. I wouldn't ever normally leave the the kitchen and dining room area in such a mess. Don, Don would hate that. Oh, my goodness. Um, so that felt good to, to start to, I guess, in a way, I guess that's taking care of myself, you know, um, doing what I got to do to, you know, it, it's just the right normal thing. You know, you, you make a mess, you clean it up. Um, but, uh, right now, um, I'm just, uh, having my coffee and I actually made a bowl of cereal. Uh, I figured I may as well eat up the rest of Don's Crunchberry cereal. Um, before I switch over to my Cheerios. Um, no reason to let it go to waste, I suppose. Um, every, every minute feels like an hour, you know? And every hour feels like a day. And then I look at the clock and I realize that like only three minutes have passed it's like oh my goodness how long is this gonna go on I I don't have an answer um, I hear what people say you know it's gonna take time it's it's gonna be hard um, and everybody grieves differently Clearly, um, since I'm making these videos, this is a little bit different. Um, this is actually helping me, I think, uh, get thoughts out in the open. Um, and since I don't have anybody here to talk to, so I guess talking to this screen uh, almost feels like I'm talking to whoever might watch this someday. Today's going to be difficult. Um, our friend Debbie, she's, it's, I mentioned it before, it's up to her and I to, um, to, to handle the legal stuff, uh, and today she's going to come over and Don had given her a copy of the will, um, a few months back, uh, so she's going to bring the will over and we're going to be going over that. And she called me yesterday, um, kind of upset. She, uh, she had done a preliminary scan of the of the will and she's she thinks there's going to be some problems with it um which is not unexpected actually um 
the will that he has. Um, and Don insisted this is going to be fine. Uh, that everything was going to be great. It's going to be easy. And I kept telling him, something doesn't feel right, man. I really wish we would get this updated. Um, a long, long time ago, he and his uh, former partner who passed away, you know, in 2013, um, had their own will together. Uh, and uh, it was pretty simple. If Don dies first, Greg gets everything. If Greg uh, dies first, Don gets everything. But there was a clause in there that, you know, if all else fails, it reverts to Debbie. Oh, that was long before Don ever met me. And uh, Don really didn't want to go through the hassle of updating it. Um, in his mind, you know, Greg was gone, so everything reverted to him. But the will, he was convinced, was still uh, in effect like that because it was also his will. It, was, it wasn't just Greg's will. It was also Don's will. So barring the absence of Greg now... Um, the theory that Don had was that, you know, all that would be left on that document is, is Debbie. Um, and something just never felt quite right about that. I'm no legal expert. I've never dealt with a will, but something just seemed weird. I mean, maybe because it was so old, um, just, just have it updated to, uh, to be just his will, you know, but he never really wanted to. I don't know if it was laziness or if he was just convinced that, that I was overreacting. Um, I don't know. He, he also claimed he didn't want to spend the $600 that it would take to get it updated. And I don't, I don't know how accurate that was, but that's what he said. Um, but now Debbie's concerned that there is actually going to be uh, problems with like the wording or whatnot on this document. So we're going to go over that. Um, my hope is that it won't, even if there is problems, I'm hoping it won't be a big deal because the house obviously would be the biggest part. And um, <clears throat> that's not up for debate because I am, in fact, co-owner of this house. Uh, my name is on the mortgage. Uh, my credit was checked to, you know, get on the mortgage and, you know, uh, help get the interest rate that we got. Um, you know, I log into Rocket Mortgage to be able to, you know, review everything uh, so I would think that all that would really need to be in dispute would be his the contents of his bank accounts and uh, his two vehicles so the house is the biggest one and that's the that's the real major one so and I and I'm hoping that we're good because I'm good with that so we'll see and then um after uh, Debbie and I are finished there, my next stop is going to be uh, my appointment with the funeral home. And uh, I'm not looking forward to that. Um, not sure if Debbie's going to go with me for that. She might. I'm not sure. Uh, I assume she would, but she might have other things or it might be too difficult. Uh, we'll see. It's one minute at a time. You know, one step at a time. Everything sucks. I don't want to be sitting in Don's chair here, having a bowl of cereal that he would be having, drinking coffee like he would in in this spot. You know, I'm I'm looking out over at the couch into the living room, just from this vantage point. This this was Don's, you know. I should be sitting over there, on the other side of the table. Fuck. I can't change it. One step at a time. <sighs> 